Howdy folks, Bob Zimmerman with Pandora Recreations Photography and tonight we're going to be looking at something a little special. So we got a little bit of a hardware review tonight and it concerns uh, a filter system for a super or ultra wide angle lens. In this case we're going to be dealing with the uh, Sigma DG HSM2 12 to 24 millimeter lens. And for those of you familiar with ultra wide angle lenses, you, you know that uh, it can be a bit of a problem to provide filtration for them. And by filtration, of course, I mean uh, neutral density filters, uh, graduated neutral density filters, color filters, and whatnot. Because what you run into is a couple of problems. Sometimes the front element of these lenses is a huge, giant, bulging piece of glass. And sometimes it's simply, well, in the case of the Sigma, the lens cap is threaded. It's an 82 millimeter thread. Put it on there. When you screw in an 82 millimeter thread, like you would screw on, oh, for example, a Tiffin lens on this uh, Nikon 24 to 120 lens, well, at 12 millimeters, you wind up with um, just a bit of vignetting. Just a bit. And that's not really what we want. So, Photo Deox has come up with a solution for several wide angle lenses. And they cover the super wide angle and ultra wide angle uh, lens lenses that you'll find out there. And like I said, we're going to be dealing with the Sigma 12-24 DG HSM2 lens, which is a pretty nice lens. And we're, we've got it hooked up to a Nikon D800 camera here. And basically what you get is the Wonder Panda 66 system, which includes the system holder, which is the round part here, and the 6 inch wide holder bracket upgrade, which are these two, you can see the bracket on the outside here. And basically what those do is you've got the round part that takes the round filters, and with these little screws here, the bracket upgrade screws onto that, and so then you're able to take a rectangular solution such as this ND grad and slide it into place here like this make sure I get that sorted out right and then you've got that taken care of right there now the actual system also comes with the lens cap pretty big it's 145 millimeters and this is the ND32, it's a five stop filter, which is just, uh, think of it like a really powerful uh, sunglass for your camera, which just means it's going to reduce the amount of light that's coming into the camera. So if you're like me and you like those uh, shots with water in them where the water is really smooth and creamy looking, you want to slow that shutter speed down to smooth that water out, and that's one way to do it. Now the system is pretty easy to. to uh, put on it's, it's uh, first. Let me just say that the craftsmanship on this is top notch and second to none. I'm really impressed. It's uh, made really well. And this ring right here is part of the system. You can see it on the camera there. And this goes on the lens. Obviously, you got to take the lens off. And this goes on. And then we very carefully place on the system here. It fits into the grooves. The retaining ring comes on behind it, and it's threaded, and that screws on there, like so. And there you go. And you can get you get a look at that. And like I said, we can uh, you always put your ND filters on first. And here is the. 145 millimeter filter, which is uh, quite a quite a bit of glass. So you want to be careful with that. If you drop it, it's probably going to break if it hits something pretty hard. But most glass filters will. And in addition to the ND32, they also offer uh, ultra, a UV filter and a circular polarizer. As far as the rectangular. Uh, ND grads go. They have 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and 0.9 ND grads in soft and hard edge graduation. And all that means is you can see the uh, it goes from dark to clear. Well, a hard edge would have a real sharp 
transition here, and the soft edge, which is what this is, has more of a gradual transition. And of course you would use that like so. That goes in the filter system there. And you would, like, if your sky, you're taking a picture of the sky in the foreground, and the sky's really bright, the foreground's really di uh, dim, it helps you even out the exposure. Now, of course, there's ways to do that in software, and, you you know, obviously you can do that if you wish, or you can do it with a filter. Now, the system obviously is going to add a little bulk to the, to your camera system. That That's clear. Um, so... You know, this isn't something you're going to go around popping off shots of uh, the king and the queen's newborn, for example. On the other hand, uh, for example, I was out at the beach and down at the Platte River the other day taking some shots. And I was able to, you know, just carefully pick up the entire rig and move it around. You might want to put the lens cap on just for protection. But uh, it's a pretty good system in terms of construction, ease of use ease of installation and uh, durability it's it's a pretty well manufactured piece of hardware and let's uh, let's take it out in the field and see what kind of shots we end up with Well, as you can see, you can get some pretty interesting effects using the uh, ND32 five-step filter. That's what we were using in those uh, in that previous segment, and uh, I, I have nothing but good things to say about the system. Um, the Sigma, this particular lens, a 12 millimeter, offers a colossal 120 degree view. I mean, this thing can see into the past almost, and it's nice. This system, there's no vignetting. Um, well, I take that back. There's a little bit, but when you take it into the Im image processing software, such as Lightroom or Photoshop, and apply the lens correction, that goes away. It corrects for that distortion. Um, I did run a couple, across a couple of concerns. Uh, one of those was, on occasion, when I went to remove this, when I went to the move to the next location, because it's very difficult to meter um, and see through the viewfinder to frame a shot with a really, really dark filter on. So you kind of want to take this off, get your exposure set so you know how much time you got it. For example, you're going to have a shutter speed without the filter. Obviously, that's going to be different with the filter on, but you need to meter that before the filter's on. Well, I had a, some hard times getting this off from time to time, and then all of a sudden it felt like it just came off nice and easy. So that was, that was one concern that I had, so I don't really screw it on that tight. It doesn't need to be that tight. And the, the other uh, concern, it's not really a concern, but right now the system's so new that there's not a lot of filters out there for it. Uh, like I mentioned before, there's the ultraviolet filter, circular polarizer, the five-stop ND32, and several variations of the ND graduated and the rectangular filters, plus all the ones from Schneider Optics. But it would be nice to see a 10-stop filter and uh, a, little more, a little wider assortment but I'm sure that that's on the way. Uh, PhotoDeox is very committed to this system. And in fact, all the products have got quite a selection of photography products on the web page at photodxpro.com. And I encourage you highly to check that out. Check them out on Facebook. And I, uh, like I said, I really love the system. And for a ultra wide angle lens solution, it, it's perfect. Uh, we're going to be looking at some more of these in the future. But for now, I can, I can only recommend this if you're in the market for uh, getting a filter on that super, super duper wide angle lens you got, check out the PhotoDX system and I'm, I'm sure you'll be happy with it. Well, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. And I will see you soon with some more action uh, in the filter system. Take it easy.